Check these out. I picked up a few of these Monolith THX certified compact satellite speakers as part of an M518HT home theater kit. Comes with an eight inch sub, five of these babies, and these are awesome little speakers. I got the kits a while ago. I actually have an unboxing video that you can check out somewhere over here that goes through coming out of the box and the care that was taken with them shipping this uh, was awesome. I needed to find a place to put these. I, I wasn't even really sure what room, how I was going to mount them, but I, I do know now, um, I figured out exactly where I want to put these. I have a spare bedroom. I want to throw these in and I don't want to just like mount it randomly around. I want it to look clean, like clean install, clean mounting. And I also needed to find a solution to put them on the ceiling because I want to do a full Atmos setup. So I'm going to go through what I found, what I discovered, and how I'm going to uh, hook these up. It's a little bit about this speaker. It's a coaxial speaker, which if you're not sure what a coaxial speaker is, it's this is not one speaker. This is actually two speakers. And if you look really close, you can see that the tweeter stays still and the woofer <clears throat> moves around it. What this gives you is a single source point of sound. So all the sound will come as it's coming from here centered. This speaker has a very good frequency response from this size. It This will go flat all the way down to 80 Hertz, which is pretty unheard of in a speaker this small. However, it does take some of the sensitivity and efficiency away from the speaker in order to get there. And that is part of the reason why this is rated for THX Compact. What is THX Compact? THX Compact is supposed to be for rooms roughly a thousand cubic feet. The room I'm going to be putting in this, this in, is going to be stretching that a little bit further. It is a total of 1400, I think it was around 1400 square feet. It's a 12 by 13 by 8 room. And that pushes the boundaries. However, I already hooked these up. I did a test on a set of tripods and set them up in the room just to make sure that it would fill the sound and hit the volume levels I was looking to hit. And this will hit it. I'm not looking to do a thunderous bass where I'm, you know, cracking drywall and knocking the knocking things off the walls. I, I just want a good quality, excellent sounding surround sound system with enough rumble and shake to, to make everyone smile that's in there. So look, what options do we have to mount this? Well, it has your standard keyhole mount, which is nice. You can get a, a wall mount where you can screw it into your wall, slide it down, it'll sit nice and, and flush with your wall. However, the problem is when you flush mount it, you're stuck. Wherever you mount it, you are stuck flat, right? So I needed a mount that could pivot and turn so I can make sure that I hit the angles that I want to get to the to get the best angle for my seating position. One thing that I did notice on the bottom, what it does have is a screw hole in the bottom. And I thought I could use like a standard tripod or camera mount and put it up. However, when I tried to do that, this will thread on there, but it is not the right size and you will strip out your screws. And if you were to try to do something like an Atmos and put that up in the ceiling, you want to use the right size screw because the last thing you would do is, you, I mean, these are pretty hefty for little speakers. I would not want to get hit in the head with this. And I definitely would not want any of my guests to get hit in the head with one of these. Since this is not your standard quarter inch thread and I really wanted to use this, especially for the heights because it just makes sense to have it hanging by the bottom. And finding a keyhole mount or taking this off and trying to rig something up or drill into this, it's just kind of a, I mean, yeah, yeah you can, but it's its really a hacky solution and it, it doesn't look great. I mean, maybe if you have the time to do some custom work and make it look pretty, but I, I don't want to go that route for this project. So what I came up with this for this is a quarter inch to M6 male adapter, right? And the reason being is that 
this M6 thread that is the size on the compact satellites. It's a little, little thread right in here, just like that. Now that this is in here, you can use any standard like tripod mount, camera mount that has that same thread. So now I could install that. I actually uh, have a picture and I'll flash it up here and you can see that mounted on top of the tripod. It works great like if you, if you, if you wanted to put these up quick and rapidly and you have the fold up tripods for cameras or lighting, you could just toss these on there, flip them open, set them up and, and have your speakers up on stands and no time flat. That adapter was kind of hard to find, so if that helps you out, click that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. So scrounging around on the web, I came across this. This is a video Seca speaker and ceiling wall mount. It's a really cool solution. So it has the quarter inch thread that we need to hook into the new adapter. And it also has two different brackets. I wasn't quite sure how they were gonna fit on these speakers and if that would be a good solution for both the wall and the ceiling or vice versa. I believe this is gonna work perfect. Well, let's let's throw the adapters on a couple of speakers and I can show you what I mean. Okay, so here's the mount out of the case. So you can see it's on a ball. You can pivot, you can turn it, so you'll be able to adjust the angle. The straight one, is gonna work perfect for my ceiling heights. So you can thread that right in. This will mount nice and flush right on the ceiling. Now, you don't have to worry about the front grill. These easily flip over. So it'll match nicely. They'll hang. When you're hanging from the ceiling, I would still suggest doing some kind of additional strap. Uh, if you want that additional security, you can mount one on the top and then loop through and go back over just in case something goes down. But honestly, I don't think this is going to go anywhere. I will shoot for going for the ceiling joists or the 2x4s to get a secure connection. Otherwise, I'm going to put some serious anchors in the ceiling to make sure these don't come down. I was a little bit concerned about the angled one and being a wall mount bracket. I wasn't sure if this angle mount was gonna clear, but you can see this thing clears perfect. This will go on the wall. It tucks in nice underneath, so it'll be out of sight, out of mind. And you have the pivot still in it. It can pivot on all axes, really, really good still. With the Video Seca mounting kit, bookshelf mounting kit, and ceiling mounting kit, you do get an adapter for the keyhole as well. So this might be something that's useful in your project. For my project, I will not be utilizing this, but you take your ball mount um, and just thread it into this adapter. Lock it in place with the wing nut. And then simply slide in <laughs> let me readjust that lock nut so then you just slide it in like so and then you would tighten up the inside nut to, to permanently hold it in place and this would be mounted to your wall one thing to take note when you do mount these once you get the angle and everything set up right, you do need to take an Allen wrench and tighten that down. That will keep this ball in place and prevent it from pivoting and moving on its own. All right, one last thing I wanted to bring up. So while I was playing around with these, I mean, you could put regular speaker cable in, but I, I like to have some kind of banana plug, but unfortunately, let me grab the other speaker. These guys, do not have banana plugs. No, you can't pull out the center portion. Uh, it's really out of focus. You, no, you can't pull out the center portion. It's it's a push down and you can feed the wire through, but I hate having loose strands of wire. So I wanted to come up with a solution to that before I mounted it. And at the time that I was initially looking to do this, I thought I was gonna have these on tripods or on stands 
and with kids and animals, I was afraid of it turning and I've already shorted out one AVR. I really don't want to short out another one or set it into protect. You know, just anytime that happens, you always run the chance that you could damage your equipment. So if you don't want to use speaker wire and you don't have banana clips, there are other solutions. So Sewell, and I think that's how you say it, Sewell, Sewell, um, and Gear IT both have what are called flex connectors. You can see they're flexible. It's almost like having the wire. You can unscrew these and you put your speaker wire through here and then you fold it down. So it feed in through the bottom and then you fold it down and you screw it back together. And it'll lock it in. And so the gear IT is slightly different. You slide your wire in here. This this comes off. Pull this off. You pull this off. Put your wire in and then there's a screw and you it's a little flathead screw and then you screw that down to hold the wire in securely and then you just simply slide these in push down the, the terminal slide these in and you get a nice clean connection the problem i ran into let me let me grab the speaker and i'll show you all right so the problem that i or i don't even know if it's a problem what i didn't like about the swells is these are all metal and they the, the terminals are not very far apart and they have the curves, so it kind of pushes them together. And at first I was like, oh, that's no big deal. And then I put a multimeter on it. I'm like, is is it a short from here to here? Because then if they're clanking together, there's, there's a short. And yes and no. So two of the connectors out of the package that I got will test a dead short from pin to this coated uh, must be like an aluminum on this side and I just I don't want to risk it so I ended up going with gear IT while they don't look as good at least they're insulated right so they can touch each other all day long and they're not going to short out against each other so this is a solution I ended up going with I'm really excited to put this whole system together. I have a lot of work to do. Just started looking at the room, how I'm gonna rearrange it. I've gotta move furniture around, my desk, all this on the wall back here. I'm gonna do it in this room, so you should see some future films with the, the screen in the background. I I'm, I'm believe I'm gonna do a projector. Haven't solidified that yet. Either it's gonna be a projector or a TV. I'll have the setup mounted, installed, and um, yeah. So shoot, shoot videos for you, for you guys and kick back and watch movies, right? I'll put links to all the adapters, the speaker pins, the speakers themselves, the speaker kit, which is an amazing kit. Hopefully I can actually get a full review for you because it's, I was just so sold on it. I just started building and moving around and playing with them. And I, I don't think you can beat the price on them, honestly. So especially for like a smaller room, these would make an awesome set for like a gaming room, right? You have a smaller bedroom, you have your, your PlayStation, your Xbox, you have your screen and, and the kids are just jamming out and they're wrapped in the surround sound and atmos. It's, it's perfect for that. If anything on this video helped you out or helped you figure out a way to mount your new monolith speakers, hit that like button, give me a subscribe. Uh, everything helps helps out a little bit and in, enjoy your system. I hope it puts a smile on your face like it is mine.